Hey, it's JC1424 once again with July 2020's monthly music episode. Keep in mind, I don't care if you don't like what I listen to, and you shouldn't care if I don't like what you listen to. And whether it's moving out or going to Bristol Motor Speedway, I have a lot going on this month. At number five is Dangerous by Seether. It's so dangerous, oh, this blamelessness, and I feel like I lost all the good I know. For a lead single, this really hasn't gotten much traction. And I say that because most of you guys watching me do these videos have probably heard of this artist at some point alongside Breaking Benjamin and Shine Down, just on the radio switching through the tunes. It's, they've been big for quite a few years. It's a good song about being around people without dignity or accountability, but it just seems like mellow filler and it has the same guitar riff that they've been using for ages. Like they use the same riff that they used on this song like three times in the last album, which was Poison the Parish back in 2017, I believe. Well, at number four is Fire by Trapped. Don't stand too close to the fire. These guys have surpassed Nickelback in having the worst reputation amongst rock fans. I would like to say I don't know how they did it, but I do know. The freaking singer on Twitter just like says stupid crap all day long and argues with everyone, whether it's his fans or or people that hate his band and have to criticize and he just, you know, copy and paste the same stupid crap and he's he's got a, a temper attitude problem. He's kinda stuck in his phone. But I'll still give their new stuff a chance, now that I'm aware of it. After a few singles, this is the first one to actually grab me in some way. But you'd still expect so much more from an artist that had such a big hit in, like, 2002. At number three is Boom! by System of a Down. The only music I'd heard from System of a Down up until this point was from their album Toxicity, until I was recently recommended steal this album by quite a few fans, whenever people started hearing that I hadn't heard any other System of a Down. And this one specific track had some nutty characteristics while spitting cold truth until it finally bursted into this one captivating moment. At number two is Farewell to Yesterday by First Fracture. This band opened up for Power Man 5000 when me and my girlfriend went to New Orleans in 2019. This is the brilliant closing track to their brand new record, Battleground. It puts off some really cool garage new metal slash alt metal vibes. And at number one is Flowers on a Grave by Bush. I am The guitar solo and the riffs on this song are badass and beautiful. I love the vocal melodies and the poetic analogies being used to describe the good and the bad of growing such a strong bond between others. Bush was one of those really big bands back in the 90s alongside Soundgarden, Nirvana, Alice in Chains, or Pearl Jam. And I'm even more impressed by their new work. I, I can't lie to you. I still listen to that song Machine Head on my phone every now and then. And then there's Glycerine, which had like a parody in the, the Simpsons show. I, I can never forget that for some reason. I have to admit, I'm a little bit late to this one. Like, three months ago, I think the song came out, and I'm just now realizing it. It's like, I always subscribe. It's like, oh, I, I didn't realize I wasn't subscribed to this band that still releases music that I do listen to. So, you know, I don't turn notifications on. I usually just, you know, always scroll to check, see if any artists that I've subscribed to release music. And so... I don't notice until suddenly it just randomly gets recommended to me three months late for whatever reason. But thanks for watching this monthly music vid and episode over.